What's going on guys, World Legend TV here, back with another video for you, back with an Assault Weapons Ban update. Guys, it's been weeks, maybe months, since I've been on here. I'm working hard, trying to at least, trying not to lose my fucking mind, but hey, it is what it is. Guys, I think the last video I put out, we were talking about Supreme Court decisions, and y'all did not like those videos, nobody fucking watched them, so... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to start talking about random shit. Y'all tell me what you like. I'll keep talking about it. Y'all tell me what you don't like. I'll stop talking about it. All right. This channel is dedicated to news, innovations, things going on in the firearms world. And it seems like y'all only want to hear about ammo and rare breed triggers. Those are the two video topics that get the most fucking views. And damn it if I ain't tired of talking about this stuff. Hell, I can't even talk about damn uh, rare breed. They ain't got nothing going on. But... It is what it is, guys. I'm going to keep doing my thing. Y'all watch if you want to. It don't make shit bit of difference to me. Uh, but anyway, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. It's a shit show around here. You got to love it. But, uh, you know, if you like what we're doing here, hit that subscribe button. Maybe check out a few other videos. If you feel like we deserved it, go ahead and like. If you feel like we didn't deserve it, comment down below. Tell me why we didn't deserve that like. Tell me what I can change. Tell me what I got to do better. I'm all ears, I'm open to change, and I'm open for progress. Y'all just got to let me know. Not a mind reader, especially not through this here little box with a screen on it. Anyway, guys, I digress. Y'all know how I get. But, assault weapons ban. Yeah. Yeah, the old assault weapons ban. 1994 all over again. Guys, I don't know. I assume, judging by my, the demographics of who watches these videos, most of y'all probably remember the 1994 assault weapons ban. Yeah. Magazines over 10 rounds, ARs, AKs, all the fun stuff, gone, couldn't have it. Well, they're trying to reintroduce that shit again. Yes, sir, I mean it, they're trying their damnedest to, well, reinstate the assault weapons ban. It really is uh, 1994 calling back, uh, you know, I'm not going not gonna to date myself, but I do remember the, uh, I do remember the assault weapons ban. Not a fun time. Not a fun time. There was a sunset on that bill. From my understanding, there's probably not going to be a sunset on this one. Now, when I say sunset, for those of you who don't know, the assault weapons ban from 1994 lasted 10 years. 10, 10 years? Say 10 years. So after 10 years, it went away. People, manufacturers start selling these assault weapons. I remember, I remember when the assault weapons ban was gone the sunset passed the first thing a lot of folks did is they went out and they bought 15 round and 20 round handgun mags and you know 17 round beretta mags and shit like that it was like these these uh items had been sitting sitting in a box somewhere waiting to be sold for 10 years and quite frankly it was fun as shit but anyway guys I digress I digress you like the shit show that goes on here. Me just rambling on and digressing every 15 seconds. Go ahead. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Guys, it's 2022. And the assault weapons ban is back. Back and worse than ever. Worse than ever. Because the Democrats aren't even hiding. Hiding that this is some gun safety, some kind of community safety bullshit. No. Oh. They're saying the quiet parts out loud because the quiet parts are now the loud parts. The Democrats are convinced that if they, as loud as they can, shout that they are coming for guns, they will get their way. Jerry Nadler today, Wednesday, when the House was talking about it, was asked by Bishop, uh, Representative Bishop, out of North Carolina, I think, by the way, uh, he asked, you know, is there anybody who would refute that this is a bill to ban weapons in common use in america and jerry nadler flat out said that's the point of the bill the point of the bill is to ban the common weapons of america but you want to know what's funny you want to know what's funny there's 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 always somebody who's exempt right there's always somebody who's exempt police police are exempt right you see all these tweets about people talking about how oh oh they're weapons of war they don't just kill, they decimate. They're there to maim. Oh, they don't belong on the streets. Oh, woe is me. My pussy hurts because my, 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 my daddy didn't show me no love. Oh, you know, and you, you know, these damn soy boys out here, the damn manginas, 
bitching and talking about, you know, ARs and AKs and shit, talking about weapons of war. But the police are exempt. Now, why would a, a country, a state, a, uh, a, a, a governing entity want their police to have more firepower than their people? Well, I think if we asked uh, the folks at Tiananmen Square, oh, well, we ain't going to be able to ask them because they all got disappeared. Maybe if we ask, uh, you know, the folks over in North Korea, oh, well, can't ask them. No. The Jews in Germany, but okay. Yeah, well, this ain't going too well for the folks who, whose government becomes tyrannical and has more guns than them. It takes away guns. First thing that that the Nazis did was they took the guns away from the Jews and the gypsies and everybody they didn't like. Made it easy to round them up, put them in the, in the boxcars and truck them on to concentration camps. We've already seen with COVID that there are Democrats willing to do that to people who disagree with them. Fellow Americans willing to put other Americans in concentration camps for having a different view. God damn if we ain't turning into something like that. You got these Democrats out here saying all kinds of crazy shit. But leaving their protection, leaving the force that they'll use to kick in doors and arrest the centers and take out people who they don't like, they still get the guns. But not us. Not the law-abiding, peaceful people who just want to be fucking left alone. It's quite sad. It's quite sad. Fortunately, I don't think this bill is going to go through. Really don't. Between the, the Senate having to filibuster and between well, the Supreme Court ruling, the New York Rifle State Rifle Pistol Association v. Bruin, case come down laying the smack down hard on a bunch of damn, bunch of damn uh, two-way issues. Uh, gun controllers are going to be for human. Quite frankly, we have to look at the text and history and tradition of America and laws. And, well, quite frankly, the last probably 100 years of laws have not been text, history, or tradition. Quite frankly, the Bruin case could see, under the right circumstances, the repeal of the NFA and Hughes Amendment and just about every infringement there is. Will it happen? Probably not. Poor boy can hope though, right? We can dream of a day where we don't have to worry about Democrats telling us what we can and cannot have and I can walk into a, a gas station and buy buy a six pack of beer and a and a damn full auto Uzi. That's the dream, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, that's the dream. Whether that happens or not, the world may never know. But guys, this assault weapons ban is not something that we gotta scoff at. It's not something we should just shrug off. It's an issue. And it's quite frankly, it's a nasty, nasty monster sitting in our in our living rooms. And we've got to address it. Guys, we need to be writing our representatives, calling them, emailing them, whatever we gotta do. Let them know that this shit don't fly. It's not how we are, it's not who we are as Americans. Second Amendment is not a second class right. We are not second class citizens. We are the populace and we are the people. And we, the people, have the right to keep and bear arms. Guys, it's up to us. We gotta keep the pressure on. When 300 million people can stand up against 545 others and say, hey, the shit y'all doing is not okay, then things will change. It's up to us, guys. We've gotta start making noise. We've gotta start letting these elected officials know Shit don't fly anymore. Guys, I'm not going to tell you how to live your life, but it would be beneficial for y'all to be writing your elected officials, letting them know this is what's going on. Supporting organizations like like uh, Gun Owners of America, FPC, these other organizations, not the NRA. I don't like the NRA. I ain't going to support them. But New York State Rifle and Pistol Association, you know, if you're in New York, California's you know, uh, Reno May, he talks about some California organizations that are great. There's great national and local organizations that are fighting for our rights. And, buddy, we got to support them. So if you can, donate to them. And I'm not sponsored by anybody. I ain't even sponsored by uh, Cherokee Guns here. It's just a shirt I got when I was up there 
checking them out. I ain't sponsored by nobody. Nobody giving me nothing. I'm here doing this on my own accord. So guys, really appreciate y'all watching. I know I just ranted for a little bit. Sometimes it's good just to rant. But y'all know the deal. Stay armed, stay safe, keep your heads on swivel. Other than doom, better want. Y'all be good. We'll see you in the next one.